So this question looks like it's going to be a simplify question. Simplified questions are typically very short, somewhere between one and three lines long, and contain either an equation or like what we have here, which is an expression. So, you know, I'm glancing down at these answer choices and they seem very busy. They don't seem really simple at all. My, my goal typically with using the simplify strategy is to really make an expression like this into one simple, in this case, probably ratio, some fraction, unless things can cross out. Um, but I'm not getting the sense, right? So let me take a look at this answer choice, right? So these answer choices, right? There's a GCF down here in the denominator. These are not in simplest form. So what I'm gonna to decide to do instead of my typical simplification, which is through factoring, is I'm gonna simply simplify these, the sum of these two fractions into a single fraction. So if I have y plus 12 over x minus eight plus y times x minus eight over x squared y minus eight x y. Um, I actually am, I'm gonna do a little bit of simplification here, right? So this denominator here, if I pull a GCF out, would become xy times x minus eight. Here's why I'm gonna do that. I wanna combine these two fractions into a single fraction. In order to combine them into a single fraction, I have to have a common denominator. Looking at the denominator in the state that it was in, x minus eight versus x squared y minus eight xy, pretty difficult to make those common denominators. But by factoring this xy out and revealing that what's inside of here is a binomial that's x minus eight, that allows me to then simply multiply the left fraction by xy, and that allows me to accomplish having a common denominator for both fractions. So now my numerator, right, when I multiply this across, would be xy squared plus 12xy over xy times x minus 8 plus y times x minus 8 over xy, sorry, times x minus 8. Now I have a common denominator. So in combining these two things together now, my numerators would come together and I'd have xy squared plus 12xy plus y times x minus 8 all over xy times x minus 8. So again, based upon my initial observation, this is probably a little too simplified. So I need to like do some distribution and combining like terms and things like that. So I'm going to distribute this y across here. I'll distribute this xy across there, and that should help us find the correct answer here because none of our answer choices are really simplified. So my numerator will now become xy squared plus 12xy plus xy, right, y times x here, and then minus 8y all over for the denominator xy times x. Well, that's going to be x squared y, and then xy times negative 8 becomes minus 8 x, y. So it looks like I have a common, some common terms here, 12 x, y plus x, y, which is just 13 x, y, which I'll write up here. So just give myself some space, come up here. I should have at the end of the day, x, y squared plus 13 x, y minus 8 y all over x squared y minus 8 x, y. All right. So do I have that as an answer choice? Uh, yes, I do. Choice C, right? So choice C is exactly what I just found. And again, this is a very non-traditional type of SAT question. Usually I would, more than likely, like once I got to this stage, I would like cross out these X minus eights here because technically that'd be simplification and cross out the Y's here even because technically that'd be simplification. But what I noticed was that none of my answer choices are truly simplified. So I'm not going to simplify fully um, the question. So hopefully that logic makes sense for you. Um, we could also use a strategy of plugging in your own numbers, but it just feels like that would be really hell. There's so many X's and Y's here. So to like, for instance, if you were to say X equals two and Y equals three, right? We can, we can put that into our X and Y's from the question and we can solve and get a value 
and then we'd have to do the exact same thing using those exact same numbers for each answer choice until we found the one that matched and gave us the same exact value. So I don't know, it's a long video, so maybe it would have taken just as long for all I know. Um, it just, I prefer to deal with with doing the algebra here than plugging, th plugging things in and doing arithmetic. So that's my, that's my preference. If you decided to use plugging your own number, please do leave a comment and let me know if you got the same answer, if you felt like it took longer than what it took me. Obviously, this video is taking longer than what it should take you if you were doing it when you're not explaining it to someone else. But just let me know your, your thoughts and if you, you figured that plugging your own number was better or if you had a completely other way of solving it that I have not thought about, I always love to hear that as well.